Hello, and welcome to the year 2000. Folks, for this, play this. I am stealing Jake's microphone gimmick. He shipped it here. Also, we're here live on my CCTV camera to talk about Breath of Fire 4 and why you should dive in. Breath of Fire 4, made by Capcom for the PlayStation 1, I believe. There's also a PC build. I might be making that up. Let's double check the wiki. See, I, it was one of those. Go back a month, two months, sitting on the couch, watching streams, watching movies, watching TV shows, and I need something to do with my hands. I have crosswords and I'm sick of touching myself. So I say to myself, let's play a JRPG. So I go onto YouTube and I find gaming productions Top 10 JRPGs if you like this, top 10 JRPGs under 20 hours. So I watched one of those videos and what really caught my eye was Breath of Fire 4. And I was watching the intro and this intro, it hits. Fast forward, and I have my Neo Mini, and I put Breath of Fire 4 on here, and folks, I'm here to tell you, play Breath of Fire 4. I'm about 10, 15 hours in the game. I had to replay a section because I accidentally loaded a save state, and as one of my main points about this game is show, don't tell. What I mean by that is, at one point, your, your main character, you wake up, you meet uh, Nina, who you're actually playing with, and then you find the main character with that character. So first off the bat, could have been a cutscene, wasn't. They let you play the character. Then it cuts to the character whose name I can't remember right now, but they are an ancient emperor who wakes up from a slumber. 3,000 years old, super powerful, OP, and is destroying everything. They let you play as that character. I have, you have so much health, you have crazy powers, and you're just decimating people. And instead of it being a cutscene of this emperor waking up, escaping, they let you play it. And this happens several times throughout the game where they cut away and have you play things. You really get into the game because you're you're never away from it. You're always doing the thing. Like another section that I really enjoyed is at this dam where there's all these guys going through mud, mud economy. I don't know what they're doing there with the mud, but it's making them money. You're fooling yourself. We're living in a dictatorship. You have to open these sluice gates. You open each of the sluice gates. You're rocking the, uh, the D-pad back and forth to open the sluice gate. Then you are getting to an elevator and the guy's like, hey, the dam is breaking because there's a giant dragon there. Here's the key to the elevator. The elevator gets stuck. So you walk over to the elevator, you put the thing in, and it goes to a cutscene like black bars, and nothing's happening. You're just like, oh, I have to lower the elevator. So you're like quickly lowering the elevator as this muddy water is rising up. And it hard cuts to like the elevator finally rising out, and you're of course safe. Followed up by an incredible bard playing some music for you, which. in this game is fantastic. <laughs> Going back to the characters, they have field skills. Your main character turns into like this dragon. You can fight things as the dragon person. Nina has uh, some wind abilities. You can also guard against enemies, and if they use abilities against you, your characters can learn those. Everybody earns XP when you're in battle, which is amazing. You can also combine spells. If I have Urshan do burn, and then Nina do sever, it'll burn, and then it'll create fire wind and actually kill everyone on the field. The overworld is great. It's fixed paths on points, so you're traveling between points on dotted lines. You come across question marks when you're walking on those dotted lines. You can hit X to enter those, and then in there is where you hit random enemy encounters. Overall, I'm 
hugely enjoying this game. Breath of Fire 4 from Capcom for the PlayStation. I have been Will from Subpixel. Subpixelfilms.com is where you can go experience our content. That'll bring you to a link tree with all sorts of cool stuff. Head on over to our YouTube, watch our latest videos, or check us out on Twitch and uh, watch our live streams. Till next time.